cool is this mug? Right? It's from SeaWorld. It's the perfect mug. It's tall. It's big enough for my fingers to all fit in. And most importantly, it has orcas leaping from the sea in a lightning storm. It's perfect. All right, thanks for joining today. We are talking about sockets. Not, not actually sockets though. We're talking about the way that you keep your sockets, whether it's in your toolbox, in your go box, or just in your workshop. How do you keep your sockets? So chances are when you first got your tools or when you get your first set of tools, it's gonna come in a blow molded case. It's gonna be something Kind of like this, you might get a bigger set, like one of the Harbor Freight, Pittsburgh Master Sets, Lowe's, Cobalt, Home Depot Husky, something like that. But it's gonna come in one of these plastic blow molded cases. And I'm gonna be very careful when I do this. When you open them, that happens. That happens. That happens. Every single time that happens. They're made so that the sockets will kind of set in there, but they don't hold very well. Chances are real good on the cheaper ones. If they ever get upside down, even when you flip them back, they will have shifted and they spill out. Let me get that. All right, so yeah, blow molded case. That's where almost all of us start when we get sockets. Sometimes they're good enough, you can kind of press down in there and you'll hear a little But they don't hold, they, they pop back out. And it's just the nature of the beast. And the more you take them in and out, the, the less they hold, because that plastic flexes a little bit. And, but uh, a necessary evil. I don't use these for many things except for some of the unique bits and sockets that I use just because they're easier to keep up with in this, in this way. Next, when you start buying individual sets of sockets, so maybe you have your tool box already or you have your case, but you wanna supplement it. Maybe you have shallows and you need deeps. Maybe you're going to a different size. Maybe you just want an extra set to go in your, uh, the box you take to the junkyard or your, your go box or keep in your car. You end up with something like this. And this is how they come from Harbor Freight, not painted red. This is the set that I keep in my junkyard toolbox and the one that I take when I go to friends' houses to work on things. And so I just shot it with red spray paint so that I know like that's my socket. When the stuff gets all messy and there's extensions and sockets and ratchets and everything sort of strewn around the car or in the garage, it's really easy for me to just go, that's my set. It's got the ugly red spray paint on it. Um, you also see real quick, here's a tip. Some of the ones that I use more often and I need to grab more readily because for whatever reason, it's just not easy for me to recognize what size they are. I put masking tape on the socket and then I write on it real big with a Sharpie marker, 19, 17, 13s. And usually with my 10s, I don't have it on this, but usually with my 10s, I'll use blue painter's tape and wrap a little strip around the 10s. That way I know that's a 10 and it's a little easier to keep up with. But anyway, they'll come on a rail like this, like this is the, the way it comes, it's hanging on the peg at the store. Um, this is pretty good. Like if your toolbox is big enough for this to set down in, for my junkyard box, I just leave them on this. I, this whole thing fits down in there. It doesn't look as great like in a toolbox and when you have a big toolbox and you're, you're trying to maximize space in there, this extra tab at the end is pretty much wasted. You could, I mean, you could cut it off if you left a little tab there, but now you're doing a lot of work just for an extra little rail in there. But you can keep them like this, and this is really easy. They just pop off. They have the little three-eighths or half inch or quarter inch, whatever size they are. Head, they stick on there, and for the most part, they hold pretty well in there. It's possible they'll end up loose in your box, but it takes a long time for that. Okay. 
the next step in your evolution of uh, socket organization will be one of these. Ignore this big mess. I probably should have broken this down before I bought it out. But one of these, this is a socket rail and it's metal. And what's cool on these socket rails, take these on, is you can kind of mix them. Just making a bunch of noise. You can mix and match what you put on here. If you get several of these rails, usually they come in a set or singles. They're super cheap. Um, and they have these, they'll be the same size rail, but with different sized tabs so you'll have a half inch a three eighths and a quarter inch tabs on them and if you don't need three rails in there you can mix and match them on here so that's what i've done on this i have all of my extensions and my adapters and universal joint adapters and, and wobble adapters those kind of things i have on this rail and i have half inch three eighths and quarter inch all on the same one to keep them together this is a really efficient way to keep them. I don't love it and I'll probably replace this at some point. Um, the the metal gets rusty. It, they're cheap. They get rusty. Um, they have little holes in the end so you could if you're a hanger you could hang them but I've never done that with these. Uh, and the little clips they're good. They're fine. Like that's, that's how I want to describe them. The little clips are fine. They're not great, but they're, they're good enough to serve this purpose. Now this thing right here, these are holding, but I'm going to tell you right now, not all of them do, especially when you get into some heavier things like this, you know, three quarter extension or this, uh, excuse me, this half extension, um, even this sort of stubby half inch extension, uh, or these longer ones where they get more leverage on them as they tip. When you pick this up, they're going to fall out. Yeah. And I didn't use these in my toolbox because I found that too. These little tabs get bent after a while and they just don't hold the sockets very well. You can Now you can take them off and bend them back out and stick them back on there. But that's a lot of work for something that should be just doing its job without much thought from you. So these are cheap. If you don't want to use these, you can go to these but I uh, consider them sort of a, a step in there. I don't consider them the final thing that, that you should do. And realistically, um, unless you have an absolute need for longer rails to put your sockets on, I would skip this and save your money until we get to one of the next things, until you're able to afford one of the next things we're gonna look at. These, very similar. These are socket rails. These are from Ernst. Uh, and the most obvious difference, first off, is that they're plastic instead of metal, and they come in colors. So one, if you just like colors, that's cool. You have several choices. Uh, also, if you wanna differentiate between SAE and metric, uh, or, or whatever your coding system is in your box that you prefer, uh, the colors, allow you to do that. They come in different lengths also. I don't remember what size this is. This is really overkill for measuring this, but uh, so this is an eight inch rail. And this is a 13. I'm sure they have longer and maybe even in-betweens, but I got these. Um, I use these for uh, in, in my toolbox when I'm not using the socket boss. I'll show you the socket boss in a minute, but these are great um, for some of the bigger runs of sockets that I have. Let me show you. Torx. So, the Torx bits, I don't, I don't need to have the, I had the blow molded case of them. Uh, each of these were sort of different sets as I bought them, as I needed them. There's some, uh, the tamper resistant bits. These are impact bits. These are just others I had. This is a specialty one that I 
I bought because I needed a longer one for a thing. And so like this, this one never had a home. It just came as a loose socket. Um, these others were on big rails kind of like this. And even though they were shorter, they took up a lot of space. So really what I need is I wanted all of my torques in one go when I go to get them. So this is one of the 13 inch rails. And again, just like I was talking about on the metal one, with these rails, you can swap the sizes around. Now you buy them in quarter, three eighths and halves, uh, but you can buy the little clips on their own, the little pegs that they go onto. You can buy those on their own. Or I just ended up buying several rails, like multiple rails in different sizes. And then I had the clips and I could swap them around because I was gonna need quite a few. So now I have this rail that has all of my torques on it. And again, because they're the Ernst systems, they come with the little stickers, uh, a pain to put on the very first time, but they hold really well. And then they're there. Um, and like I said, there's no continuity between the way these are labeled. There's like six different sets that this is made up from, but I've got you know halves, three eighths and quarters on here, all on one rail. And what's cool about the Ernst rails is they hold, I don't know if you saw that little motion, but they go on and then they twist and it's like a like an eighth of a turn, but you can feel it engage and they're all locked on. They are not coming off. That one came off because it wasn't twisted, not very well, but look, I'm bending, I'm bending the plastic. It, it's held on there. Now, is it gonna hold from everything? No, but they hold really well. And then when you go to take it off, you just grab it eighth of a turn, pop it off. Your muscle memory has to learn. It'll take you all of, you know, the first 10 times that you go to grab it, you might kind of tug and wonder why it's not coming off. Twist it, pop it off, on, twist it, in. I'm that coffee kicking in. Um, but these, these rails are, are what I've upgraded to in my box now, and I absolutely love them. I love the that I can sort of interchange all the things, that they, they hold up well, and I like that they're color-coded. I use a lot of blue in my box, but I also have my SAEs in red, and I just like them. This is what I prefer um, it, over the metal rails. Now, lastly, I showed this in my toolbox tour, but this, is the Ernst Socket Boss. And I have kind of a weird accent, Socket, Socket, Socket Boss system. Um, and you can get it in quarter, three eighths, half inch. You can get a set that has all of them. Uh, they come in these, oh my gosh, what is this? Maybe 16, 18 inches. How long is this one? I could have prepared before I started talking, but I didn't um 20 wow this is so this one's 20 inches um <clears throat> this is the quarter inch setup and what's cool about this let me get in show you up close what's cool about this is uh besides all the little stickers and things it comes with a couple of these uh clips here that are for your ratchet handles uh, or your extensions and the the rails sit in a tray so they're all together so you can take the tray out if i know i'm i'm working on something and i'm going to need like my whole row of, of quarter inches i can just take the whole tray take it out and then also there are there's these little tabs now these extensions i just lay in here they're not clipped in but i could could get that the length i just keep them right there but if you see it's hard to tell there's this little tab that has a, an unlocked thing on it. And when you push that, a tab is released. So I can push that and the rail comes out. So fantastic. I can take the rail with me to go do something. Uh, when I was putting the stickers on, I could just take the rail out, work on it as I go, swap out sizes. And then it sets back in, slides into place. And it's all there. I love these. Now they come in that 20 inch, 
Also, like I told you guys before, I don't do a lot of uh, SAE things, but I need to have the set. So this is the Socket Boss. Should we try it? This is the Socket Boss for the SAE. Um, so they all have that twist and, and lock in place for each socket. Uh, the rails are locked in in the Boss. <laughs> so, you know, if this fell over in your toolbox or something, or while you're working, you dumped it over, you're still going to say cuss words, but at least the sockets won't be spilled everywhere. So you got that going for you. Um, and again, you know, everything sort of fits on here. You put the stickers on, so you sort of make your range. Uh, and again, they mix and match. Quarter inch, three eighths, half inch, deeps, shallows. And like I said, now I've got this tray. If I know I'm going to be working on uh, some of the stuff on the Jeep, is still SAE. It's a weird mix match kind of thing. Or if I'm working on a, an older American car and I know it's going to be SAE, or I'm working on the, the Craftsman Shed that we have outside is all SAE, even though it's new. Uh, just grab this whole tray and go. So there you have it. The, the evolution of of what you'll probably run into I'm not saying specifically one is better than the other other than blow molds uh, if it's your primary toolbox get away from that as soon as is financially reasonable for you the metals they, they have their place um, and if you just need cheap rails to put stuff on these work they, they do work I just don't think the longevity is there of them. They do wear out, but again, they're so cheap, you can replace them. And what, what's so great is that these allow you to mix and match those sizes, really as any of the rails do. Now, interchangeability between brands becomes difficult. So if you are gonna move into spending your money on a on a rail system, I would, I would encourage you either to buy one piece from several of them and try it out and see what you like, or just commit from the start to to a setup and just buy everything from that setup because that's going to ensure that like these little pegs that come off only work on the Ernst system. They do not work on other rails. So that you've also got Ulsa uh, and, and a few others, even Harbor Freight has them now. They have the, the sort of a tray with like a little peg that sticks up that you can set the sockets on. Those work great too. I just like the rails uh, because they keep everything a little bit more secure uh, and you can if you're not sure what size you need it's easy to pick up and take it with you to the car or to your uh, work cart or anything like that so if you've got a system that you enjoy using put it down in the comments uh, if you have something uh, mildly rude to say about the systems that I use that's fine too put that down in the comments uh, and if you have any questions put those in there as well if you found anything in this video interesting even if it's the Orca mug, uh, give it a like, uh, and please consider subscribing. Thank you so much. See you next time. All right. How does that look? Is that better? All right. I think so. I think that's probably better. All right. Still recording? Yeah. We're like a minute in. Crazy.